Over the years of doing YouTube, I've been asked how much money I make on YouTube multiple times. And a lot of times people think that having a certain amount of subscribers equals a certain amount of money, which is not the case. So today I just figured, what the heck, I'm just gonna go all in. I'm just gonna tell you guys how much money I made on YouTube in 2020. I'm going to be going over my vlog channel as well as this channel that you're watching right now, starting with the vlog channel. I've seen several other YouTubers post this video a few weeks ago, so I thought I would just kind of jump on the bandwagon just because it might be something interesting to look at next year to see if my income has changed at all. If you go on to my vlogging channel, which is called Life of Fallon Vlogs, it's always linked in the description box if you want to check it out. I only have 320 subscribers subscribers and 197 public watch hours for the last 365 days. So if you're not familiar with YouTube's monetization process, basically there are certain requirements that you have to meet before you're able to make a cent on YouTube and that starts with your subscriber count. So you have to have 1,000 subscribers to even be eligible for monetization on YouTube as well as 4,000 hours of watch time within a span of one year. So I don't actually make any money on my vlogging channel. I just thought I would throw that in here because I'm sure a lot of people don't know that there are certain requirements that you need to meet in order to be monetized on YouTube if you've never tried doing YouTube before. But yes, this vlog channel is not monetized. I don't make any money from it. I just really enjoy vlogging and I just like to have the memories on video. So that's why I do my vlog channel. It would be amazing if at some point it could be monetized. That is the ultimate goal. But as of right now, it's just chilling. 320 subscribers, not making any money, but that's okay. So on this channel that you're watching right now, my subscriber count is a little over 13,000. And for the year of 2020, my channel accumulated 6,790.6 hours of watch time. So that means that my channel is eligible for monetization, which I'm sure you guys already knew. But before we get into how much money I made in this past year, I feel like there are a couple of different things that you need to understand before I tell you the money that I made because the amount of money that you make depends on several different variables. The first one being the view count. So you don't get money from having a certain amount of subscribers. So I have 13,000 subscribers. That does not equal any certain amount of money that you make. All of the money comes from your views. So basically whenever somebody watches your video and they watch the ad, you get money when they watch the ad. You get more money if they watch the full ad, you get less money if they skip the ads. That's a basic understanding of how you get money from the ads, but also there's this thing called RPM on your channel, which is the amount of money you make per 1000 views. And that is constantly changing. I actually honestly don't know how this number is formed, but it changes all the time. And it's different between every different YouTube channel. And it also changes depending on what type of channel that you are. So whatever type of videos you're making, you're gonna have a different RPM than somebody else. So even if you get the same amount of views as someone else, you may not make the same amount of money, AKA there are tons of smaller YouTube channels out there that make a lot more money than I do, as well as bigger channels that may make the same. But also there is another thing. YouTube actually lets you put more ads on videos that are eight minutes or longer. It used to be 10 minutes or longer, but this changed this past July to eight minutes or longer. So you can put multiple ads throughout your video and the more ads you have equals the more money that you can make. So if your videos are longer, you can put more ads, which means you're gonna make more money. So that's a pretty basic breakdown of where you make your money on YouTube. Now I'm gonna break down my channel and show you guys exactly what happened over the year and how much money I made. I am actually just going by the analytics on my YouTube channel and that only shows your estimated revenue, which I actually believe is in US dollars. So at the end of the video, I will tell you my own calculations of how much I was actually paid in Canadian dollars because I am Canadian. So let's do this, let's go. Whew. This is gonna be hard, I feel like. I would just like to note first that my channel kind of has a rough time sometimes. The view count is all over the map. Sometimes my videos make 30 views and sometimes they make a few thousand views and it's all just very inconsistent. That is what YouTube is like as a whole. So the amount of revenue that I get is very like, it can be very different, but actually now that I'm looking at these, they're all very quite similar. So maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, sometimes I can get 30 views on a video and sometimes I get like two to 3,000, sometimes even more than that. Just wanna note that at the beginning. So for January, I accumulated a little over 14,000 views, which led me to 
gain about $74.89 from YouTube that month. Now, if you don't know this, YouTube actually has a $100 threshold, so you cannot actually take any money out unless you reach $100. So I generally get paid every second month from YouTube because I don't make enough like for one month to get paid, if that makes sense. You also get paid a month after you make the money. So January, I got $74.89. This is just the estimated revenue from my analytics. For February, we got 12,000 views and about $59. For March, it was up back again to 14,000 views and I got $60. Now keep in mind like March, March is where COVID kind of came into play and I actually found um, the average view retention time was a little bit longer. People were on the internet a little bit more because they were home a lot more. So things started to change a little bit around March. So I did get a little bit more money in March, $60. In April, I got 16,000 views, which came to around $55. In May, I got about 15,000 views, which was $52. In June, I got about 19,000 views for the month and I got $66. In July, I got 14,000 views and $53. In August, I got about 12,000 views and $52. In September, I got 11,000 views and $52. In October, I'm going to tell you right now, is always my best month of the whole year and that is because my DIY costume videos for some reason do really, really well. That happened again. <laughs> they did really really well again so like the the videos that I've had uploaded for years still do really really well in October so I got about 20,000 views for the month and I got about $95 for that month for November it was kind of way down I feel like November and December I kind of slacked on posting a little bit so I didn't get that much revenue actually November was my worst month of the whole year it was 9,000 views and I got $51 and then we went back back up in December to 10,000 views and I made $54. So for the whole entire year, it says that I made 170,931 views and that accumulated to $731.14. But I usually keep track of everything that I've been paid. So the actual money that I have been paid. So the whole total from my YouTube channel for the year of 2020 that I was paid in Canadian dollars was $1,046 and one cent. Maybe that's a lot, maybe that's a little. I'm actually not really sure. I feel like there are so many smaller channels that do really, really well and make a lot of revenue because they get a lot of views. My views are sometimes really down there, which is okay, you know, maybe I, sometimes I make content that people don't wanna watch, which is totally fine. I make YouTube videos because I love making YouTube videos. I've been making YouTube videos for years. So I know a lot of the people that are subscribed to me right now have been subscribed for like six years. And I know my content has changed a lot over the years so maybe they're just not into the content anymore. You know, it's kind of just, YouTube is a tricky game sometimes and it's really hard to figure out. That's how much money I made in the year of 2020 on my YouTube channel. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it maybe gave you a little bit of a better understanding of how I make money on YouTube. And just to clarify, YouTube is not my only income stream. I do have several other streams of income, so I do make more money than what I made on my YouTube channel this past year. So yeah, I hope this answered any questions that anyone out there may have had about how much money I make on my personal YouTube channel. Like I said earlier in the video, the amount of money people make on their YouTube channels is completely different. It varies from video to video. It varies from channel to channel. Like it's so different. YouTube is a whole roller coaster. It's quite something to wrap your head around, but I hope this helped at least a little bit. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys hopefully on Sunday with a brand new video.